Have you been searching for a one level home that's three bedrooms, a fenced in backyard in a sought after neighborhood here in Bellingham? If you have, you are in luck. My name is Chris Witten and welcome to 246 Teresa Road. So welcome back. Can't wait to tell you all about this gorgeous home. So first, before we get inside and I tell you the details about the home, I wanna let you know where we are. Now this is Weathersfield. If you know Bellingham well, you know the area well, this neighborhood well, as uh, it's the neighborhood with all the names. So we are on Teresa here. We passed Shirley on the way in. Um, there's many of them here. So we are actually a unique situation where we're on one of the very few dead ends, which is great. We're the second to last house here on the dead end street. You don't have a lot of traffic coming in and out, so that's a great thing. Location wise, very convenient, 140 just around the corner. And of course that leads to 495, the Mass Pike not too far away, Franklin, Boston, Providence isn't too far away. Great location wise. The home itself behind me, built in 1960s, the early 1960s, a lot of these homes are ranches and they were built on slabs. So that means no basement, However, you have lots of storage in your garage. You can park your car in there and store things. How great is that? We'll give you more details on storage as we get inside. Three beds, one and a half baths, just over a thousand square feet. They are a little bit bigger than some of these homes are as well size-wise in Weathersfield. Lots of great things going on. Natural gas, a past title, five, all sorts of good stuff. Let's get inside now and show you this baby. So welcome inside. Uh, as you can see, have some updates have been done over the years here, and I love the, the open concept um, of, of the, this area especially, right? We've got just over a thousand square feet, as I mentioned. You've got a beautiful picture window here, and you do have your little farmer's porch, which is great, but you got lots of sunshine coming in. So here in your living room, as soon as you enter into the front door, you do have a giant coat closet, which is great. However, you've got um, some updated floating floor in here. Um, as I mentioned, some updates were done over the years. So you have a large living room. You can see they've got um, a good sized couches, a love seat here. You have a sectional, it could work. Um, lots of great things. You do have some recessed lighting. So those were added at some point as well. And then here flows right into your kitchen. Your kitchen, you've got tile, big tile floor here. And I love this feature. A little peninsula kind of works as an island for you. So you know, you've got some seats. If you want to do some homework, sit down um, and uh, you know have a bowl of cereal, whatever it may be. They do have this little table here. Uh, we'll show you as we sneak over into that area, which is kind of your dining room, but you do have that option as well. But you can see you've got the subway tile here for a backsplash. Uh, replacement windows almost throughout, which is great. We'll get you into the private backyard um, as we wrap up this video. So this I love too, lots of cabinet space, stainless steel appliances, and it all flows into this portion. Now, as you know, when COVID hit the last couple of years, everybody needs a little office space. So that's what we have here at the moment. Uh, however, you know, you take out what's here now and you can put a table. If you've got a dining room table, um, very easily fits in here. And again, you've got another picture window overlooking your fire pit, your patio back there, and your fenced in backyard. So before we head down and show you the three good sized bedrooms and your full bath, I do wanna show you this area over here that's right off of the kitchen. Now this is also a private home office if you like. You can see a slop sink. They've got the washer dryer in here, which is great because again, this home is on a slab. And as I mentioned out front, that this neighborhood, um, you know, most of these are one level ranches that are on slabs when they were built in the 60s. But if you need a home office, perfect area here. If you need tons of storage, put some racks in here, some cabinetry, you're good to go. You need an extra room, you can tuck these away, get some stackables, and you've got a playroom uh, for the kids. You've got a quilting room, whatever you need, you can make that happen. Um, right here is your huge garage. When you get here in person, you can see that, but lots of storage in there. Um, your, uh, your utilities are in there as well. You've got your boiler, uh, natural gas boiler that is in there. So as I mentioned, you get about over a thousand square feet in here. It's a really good size and we'll show you that. We've got three bedrooms here, but first let's go in to your main suite. Your main suite here, you have a good size bedroom, two replacement windows, so you've got some natural light. This is a king size bed that we have in here now and you still can fit some end tables. If you have a queen, you got even more space. 
uh, you have a good sized closet. And the cool part is here you have a bath, a half bath, in your main suite. Something you don't see that often here in Wethersfield. All right, here's bedroom number two. Again, you can see lots of great natural light coming in. This one's good size as well, just about the same size as your main bedroom. Um, so you do have an option of having your main bedroom be in the front of the home, but a good size closet in there as well. Just outside of these bedrooms, you do have a good linen closet in the hallway. And then here is bedroom number three. Uh, you can see also decent size. If you don't need three formal bedrooms, this would make a perfect either guest bedroom or a home office. But you've got, again, a replacement window in here. You do have a recessed light and a decent sized closet with some newer carpet. And now for the full bath here in the home. It's located right in the hallway, conveniently located um, from your living area here, your family room, your living room, your dining room, but also right outside of the hallway for the uh, bedrooms. Got your tile floor in here, tile shower, you've got your tub, and you've got your window overlooking your backyard. So as you can see, a lot of updates over the years since uh, 1963 when the home was built, spread out, lots of appeal for what many people are looking for nowadays. And speaking of that backyard that I mentioned, let's go check that out right now. As the warmer months are ahead, you're gonna have some fun. So here we are, right off your back room, into your backyard paradise. So the warmer months, I know there's a little crusty snow on the ground right now, the warmer months are ahead and you are going to love the fact that you have a fenced in backyard. Now the home property does sit on 0.26 acres, so just over a quarter of an acre. And you can see that they actually have a uh, pool area there, an above ground pool. If you don't want it, easily take that down. But if you do want it and you wanna have some fun this summer, you can definitely have that there. They do have the uh, stones, which I absolutely love this patio. They got uh, also, um, as you can see, a fire pit here, which will be some fun times. I know the warmer days are coming, roasting those marshmallows, right? You've got a shed back here as well, and um, they also have a slide, um, all sorts of great things. So the backyard, just waiting for you to come on in and have some fun. We are at 246 Teresa Road here in Bellingham. It's in Wethersfield. You know the neighborhood well, close to everything. You've got your three beds, one and a half bath inside. You've got your garage and you've got this backyard just waiting for you. My name is Chris Whitten from Premier Real Estate. We want to get you in here to see it for technically your second showing.